This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Yeah, AB, Nick said on Tuesday that he wasn't real happy with the way that he defended ball screens. Um, I'm just curious what you've thought of how the guards have kind of handled coverages and, and trying not to get clipped by screens on the perimeter, I guess maybe last few games. Mm, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, we played some quick guards last game. Uh, had some pretty talented, fast guards. So uh, it's always going to be tough when you play guards like that. But at the same time, we haven't been keeping the ball in coverage well. Uh, we go over it every day in practice, and uh, we just get undisciplined a little bit during the game. So uh, we're going to try to focus on keeping it in coverage from here on out. And secondly, the Grant Sherfield kid's been lighting it up from three. I think he's shooting like 55% from three. Um, just what what's kind of the scout on him, and, and what do you guys have to do to limit him? Uh, We haven't really started looking at scout yet, but, I mean, uh, I mean, he's a shooter. I guess he's saying he's a shooter, so we're just going to try to take away his three and uh, just play him like everybody else, really. Christina? Yeah, hey, Anthony. Just with, with Trevin out, I know it's a little bit different for you, um, but how are you expecting some of the bigs like Kamani, Jalen, and the Twins to kind of step up with him out? Um, I mean, obviously it sucks not having TB uh, for the team and uh, just for him, too. Uh, he was working really hard this year, doing a lot of good stuff for himself and for us. But uh, I feel like I think all the bigs are going to be ready to step up. Uh, we have some talented bigs, uh, and now they know, like, okay, it's time to step up. You know, we just lost a, a big key player. So uh, I feel like everybody can help us in a different way. So uh, we're going to need him to step up big from here on out. I know Moss was excited about his ability to develop, you know, more of a perimeter shot. Does that kind of put pressure on guys like you and some of the other three-point shooters? Uh, Not really pressure. I mean, we're just going to have to figure out a way around it uh, to keep being efficient and you know, we got to start making some shots if we're going to shoot them. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep getting downhill and playing to our strengths. Hutch? Yeah, Anthony, I'm curious now that you've had a couple of games, you know, regular season games with Nick, kind of how are you all adjusting to, to playing together? And, and is there a bit of an adjustment period with him coming back? Um, I mean, we can get a, a good player back. There's always a small adjustment piece, like a little phase where we're trying to figure out uh, what's going on with uh, all three of us, me, him, Ricky, even Diva. Uh, that's like the four guards who, who handle the ball the most. So uh, it's just a little bit of an adjustment, but uh, it's pretty easy when we have a lot of talent and uh, we, we've been together all summer. So it's not as much an adjustment, but it's really just getting back to what we were doing before we got here. Gotcha. And also, I know you weren't on the team last year, but this game against Oklahoma and Tulsa didn't go well for Arkansas. Have you talked to Devo or Kamani or them just to see kind of how that game is? And is there a, a little bit of a revenge factor with that? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, we all saw what happened last year. Uh, I mean, last year we had a talented team, but I think we had another talented team this year. So, uh, you know, it's a big game for us. We're going to come back ready uh, to just kind of get it back. Curtis? Hey, A.B., obviously you you play a completely different position than Trevin does, but, you know, he brought so many different things to the table. Where do you think that you specifically can kind of step in and fill some of that void that's lost? Uh, I think I can help us rebound better. Uh, TV was super athletic, super active on the glass. And uh, I think me just being taller than most of the people, I'm going to be guarding who will be guarding me. I think I can help us offensive and defensive rebound. And then not that these last three games of the homestand haven't been challenging, but is there any, you know, added excitement or anticipation being able to kind of get back out on the road at a neutral site and play against a high major opponent like Oklahoma? I mean, yeah, uh, it's going to be a big game. And uh, I think we're ready to rise to the occasion and just uh, just come out and play with a lot of energy in front of a lot of people. So uh, it's always exciting to play in the big games like that. Bob? Yeah, Anthony, you, you've shot pretty well from three. And um, you know, Nick was saying he's known, since, known you since you were young. And, of course, I, I, I think all you guys are young to me. But um, 
Well, what have you thought about your three point shooting or people maybe sleeping on that a little bit? Uh, I mean, I'm just, my teammates and coaches have just been telling me to be more confident since like really one of the first couple, I think it was a Fordham game. I didn't really shoot it well. Like I was second guessing myself shooting, but, uh, they just told me like, Hey, shoot it with confidence. Like we see you make a lot of shots every day and, uh, we trust you to make shots. And then after that, uh, just my teammates giving me good open looks. Like a lot of my threes, I don't have to do anything, but just catch it. I can get my feet set and shoot. So, uh, it's really all of my teammates for getting me open and, and putting confidence in me. And I'm sure you always work hard, but Eric said you've been putting in a lot of extra work shooting. Do you think that that's been a factor for you? Yeah, I think uh, obviously when you put in work, you're going to get better results. But uh, I think the biggest piece of it was just uh, just getting more confident and being more aggressive, really. And I'm thinking, you know, Trevin was so versatile. It probably won't just be one, one or even two guys that have to do what he did. It might be several guys depending on who you're playing and matchups and stuff but Jordan's a guy I'm thinking maybe uh, could fill help fill that void and I know he's kind of been up and down at times but what, what, do you, what do you think about how Jordan's played and how he might be able to help fill that void yeah I think we need him to step up a lot uh, uh play a lot better than he's been playing uh he, he plays really hard and uh there's been a lot of games this year where he's he's really helped us out a lot uh I know. I just think we need him to be really engaged and play with a, a lot of energy. Because when he does that, he does good things for our team, and then uh, we just roll smoothly. Like especially on the defense, man. Like he can get us a couple stops in a row, a couple run out dunks, and then you know he can also make shots, get to the rim. So uh, we just need him to uh, just have a lot of energy and, and keep playing hard. And you know, as good as Trevin is, and obviously you're going to miss him, but this team still seems like it has a lot of talent. Um, do you still feel good you guys can can have a strong season and, you know, uh, you're a top 10 team. Do you still feel like you're a top 10 team? Like I say, no disrespect to Trevin, but you, you have a lot of other good players too. Yeah, you know, um, anytime you lose a, a good player like that, uh, it sucks and it hurts because that's like our brother. So, uh, I mean, some of us were pretty emotional. We forgot he was hurt. But, um, you know, we still trust in our, in our teammates, the next man up, and uh, – I think we can still do what we're trying to do. And for sure, I think we're still a top 10 team as long as we play up uh, how we can play. And uh, I mean, now we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna go a lot harder for TB now since he can't play. He's got one more, you know, obviously you didn't have Nick for the first six, then you don't have Devo. Then you finally get everybody back together for one game, then Trevin gets hurt. I mean, and you don't have him for the rest of the year. So how frustrating is that, that you just haven't been able to have the whole gang together, so to speak? Um. I mean, it's life. Uh, stuff, stuff doesn't always go your way, and uh, you know we just gotta. We just been figuring out ways to adjust to it. Um, although not having Nick suck, uh, and then Devo, we understood what what he had to do, but uh, it still was hard not having him. And now losing TB, it's just like, you know, it's tough, but uh, stuff happens, and and good teams just figure out ways to to just keep going and keep getting it better, like regardless of the scenario. Yeah, I might have a couple more, but I'll turn it back to Mike if others have questions. Thanks. I think you're the only one, Bob, so go ahead and follow up with one more. Okay, well, hey, he, he was nice enough to come on. I don't, I don't want him to feel sh short -shage. Um, mm -hmm. you, you know, I know you played in the Maui, obviously neutral court thousands of miles away, and that was a cool atmosphere. But this is going to be like an NBA type arena, like, like Walton Arena, probably be pretty split, um, probably be 16, 17,000 in there, I guess. Just how, how much are you looking forward to a – a real, you know, a big crowd in neutral sites setting against another Power Five team. Uh, it should be fun. Um, like you said, the Maui games were fun, kind of like split halfway us, halfway them. But it sounds like this is going to have a lot more fans in Maui, obviously. So, uh, you know, it's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to come out fired up and hopefully ready to play. So, yeah, we should, it should be fun. Did you watch last year's game on TV live or did you see a replay later or? Yeah, I watched it a lot. What were you thinking as you were watching it? And then I don't know if you remember this. Eric got was pretty ticked off at the end. He got ejected. He yeah. was pretty upset about the officiating, I guess. Uh, kind of what? What do you remember about that? Um, uh, I mean, they just kind of got in us early. Uh, I think they went on like a ten to zero run at the start, and I really set the tone for the game. But uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I mean, that just happened, but. 
you know, we're going to try to try to do better this year. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. Bet online, where the game starts.